Good morning, Year 10. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. So the final push, I'm almost at the end of term now, so last few lessons, and then you'll be off for the whole summer. So do you know, what I'd like to do is write down the names of all the love poems you have studied, or at least as many as you can remember. So after you've done that, I'd like you to write down any quotes that you can remember. So pause the video now in order to do this. Okay, please could you write the title, Poetry Flashcards. Um, for this lesson, you'll need your poems and notes from previous lessons, the flashcards you have made for the first seven poems, and the grid of themes. This is attached on class charts. You also need different coloured pens or highlighters. So this is a list of all the poems that we've studied um, through the unit. I'm not going to go through all of them. The reasons we have different colours, you should have made flashcards for the ones in black, you're going to make flashcards for the ones in red today and flashcards for the ones in blue um, next lesson. So your flashcards must include the name of the poem and three key quotes. That's the basic minimum. However, you may also want to include, to, to help your revision, reference to the speaker and their feelings or perspective, points you can make about both language and structure of the poem, literary terminology and consideration of the key themes of the poem, you can use a theme grid to help you with this. So your tasks for today. First, I'd like you to review the flashcards you have already made for the seven poems and memorise the key quotations, at least three for each. So a lot of you have already sent me your flashcards for these seven poems. Really well done, they look excellent. If you've fallen a bit behind, this was meant to be homework um, for the half term. If you've fallen behind, don't worry, this is your first task for today. You're going to make those flashcards for the seven poems have at least three key quotes for each poem. Your next task um, is to make flashcards for the poems highlighted in red on the list of poems um, you saw earlier in this PowerPoint. So an Arundel tomb, love after love, morning song and long distance too. Again, memorise three quotations for each poem. And then finally, you know, I'd like you to use the remaining time to review your key moments grids for Jacqueline Hyde and an Inspector Calls, memorising the key quotes. Ideally, you should have memorised the key quotes um, for all these key moments for both texts. So for each box, each key moment, you should have, I think I said six quotes or four to six quotes for each key moment. And you should have had all those memorised by now, but if not, or if you're a bit rusty, please do go over all the key moments for both texts and make sure you've memorised all those quotes. So spare copies of the grids are on class charts but they haven't been filled in. Um, I do plan over summer um, to create completed grids of those key moments so I can give that to you. I may upload it over the summer or I may upload it, I may just give it to you in September but I do plan to do that at some point. So those are your three tasks that I would like you to complete today. Okay, so please do spend the whole lesson, full hour, um, working on the tasks on the previous slide. Okay, so thank you very much for your hard work today. Um, I did consider giving you an exam question, but I really wanted you to take this time to consolidate your existing knowledge of the poems that we've looked at, the poems that we've learnt, and to get your revision materials in order. It should make your life so much easier um, when it comes to your active revision in year 11 if you've done the hard work now. So I really hope you found today's lesson useful and enjoyable and I look forward to speaking to you next time.